let's talk about something that no one says. Yay, it's bathing suit shopping season. I am ready. Many of us do not sing in joyous triumph when we have to go bathing suit shopping. It's pretty much a dreadful time for both of us, whether you are fit or not. I want to give you some expert shopping tips so that next time you head out to go buy your bathing suit, hopefully these will help you out. So with that, let's get to it. Big boob ladies. I see a lot of you girls loving the bandeau. Now, I have D's. My boobs are not small, they are big. And the bandeau, the one strap across, a lot of times just drags them down. My suggestion to you, and I'm actually gonna show you some bathing suits and you guys can click on the description below. These are all bathing suits that I wear. And so they're tried and true and passed the Lindsay test, whatever, if that means anything to you. <laughs> this is a bikini that I just got. It's from Peely Q. The reason why I love this bandeau is because it has a few things that are essential when you have some boobs. It has underwire, a little, little bit of padding just so you can get the shape and the structure. And then the key, you guys, is it has this halter strap. So you have the same look of a bandeau, but then you have this extra support to kind of keep the girls up. I love this. I can be really active in this. I feel all tucked in and great, and especially with the underwire and the neck strap and the little padding, and it's just like the best bathing suit ever. This is for, and obviously if you have small boobs, you can wear it too. I mean, even better, you just slap it on and your boobs don't go anywhere. I mean, must be nice. <laughs> also, for my uh, well-endowed women, if you love triangle tops, choose triangle tops maybe with a thicker strap because, you know, you got big boobs and sometimes you have these little triangles like on a string. This actually gives you extra enforcement and it kind of just is a little bit more flattering, I would say. Obviously, if you love a triangle top, I mean, go for it, rock it. But for me personally, I like, um, I like that this has a thicker strap. I just feel more held in, more secure, more like I'm not gonna have a bit of a nip slip and it also has a little bit of padding too. Just a tiny bit to kind of keep the mold in the shape. And this is from Peely Q as well. All right, I came across this bra style. This bikini top is L space and this is actually wonderful. Well, all of these are are wonderful, but this is great if you have bigger boobs or if you have small boobs. Why? Because of the molded cup. I love this because I have full coverage and I have and it really holds me up and together, like a bra. I mean, I'm essentially wearing a bra, and all of you guys know out there, Lindsay loves her bras. It even has a little bra clasp. I love this from L Space, this great candy apple orangey, I don't know what else I can explain that this is, but it also has underwire and great support, good to mold smaller chests, and good to hold in the bigger boobs. Honestly, you guys, I could go on and on and on and on about bathing suit tips, but the reality is if I made this video any longer, you guys wouldn't watch it. So I'm just gonna give you a few tips. So please leave me comments below if maybe there's a tip I didn't cover that you want my expertise or my opinion on. So please let me know in the comments below, but we're not done yet. So I recently got these bottoms that I love. For me, I don't like that like little triangle like hanging by two threads, like itty bitty only covering just my little, yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I feel more flattered as far as my figure when I have a little bit more coverage. This is an L space bottom. I honestly have this bottom in like 10 colors. I love it. I don't have to worry about if I'm hanging out or not. And you can see the front area is wider and then you have this little double tie here. So you have extra coverage. And then I love the back has this little ruching just right at the top of the butt to kind of give a little scrunch and give a little form. And it doesn't go down the crack because you know, sometimes, I mean, that's cute, but sometimes, you you know, that's a lot of crack and booty, so. So I wear these guys and when, you know, when you love a bathing suit, you're like, um, can I have that in every single colorway? And that's what I did with these. So these are L-Space. Uh, I also came across another pair of bottoms that aren't crazy itty bitty. As you guys can see, you know, the fabric comes to the end actually where you tie the ties. This is, I'm pretty sure it's by wet. I, I'll, I'll find the description and I'll um, link below, but how good is this print? I know, this is a good print, and I love that it's more coverage. There isn't just an itty bitty little, little triangle down there. I get, you know. Okay, so another tip is, and I actually see this 
all the time and I was talking to my sister about this when we were at the beach last week. Now if you're conservative bathing suit wearers, I get it, I get it, I get it. But if you're a girl who really wants to flatter your behind, the bathing suit needs to have some sort of like an angle. You know when you wear, you see bottoms and they come clear to like the side, they're like the bottoms are coming and covering your thigh. Like I'll show you. The bottoms will come out like almost like way under your butt and like down here. It's just full and it fully wraps around your butt. And to be honest, you guys, a lot of times that just makes your butt look bigger. So when it's more narrow, the cut is a little bit more narrow, it creates like that line to make your butt look narrower. For instance, like this is a big butt. So this literally wraps around the side of my butt. And I try this on, I try this butt on, and then I try something, as you can see right here, a little bit more narrow. You can see there's more of a V here rather than like a square. This is going to kind of narrow out my rear end. It's just something for you guys to think about if only if you want to flatter your tush and if you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable and you just want the whole thing wrapped and covered and in there and you don't want a little speck of your behind showing at all, then rock it. But it's just a tip, it's ultimately flattering. But in my experience and what I see on the beach, not that I'm like checking out everyone, but it's definitely more flattering when you choose bottoms that are a little bit more narrow and cut rather than the full square like, bam, because it's like, fabric around your butt and it makes it look bigger. Like I said, I could have gone on for days about many different bathing suit tips to help you guys when you set out shopping, but I hope the few tips I shared with you today were helpful and please let me know below if maybe there's a tip I didn't cover, maybe you have some sort of issue and I can help you with it. I mean, summer's just begun, so I can definitely do some more videos. So make sure you like me and fave me and sub me and everything to me that's good and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.